are you doing? I invested in Platinum Coin in 2017 and I've never shared this story. I think by the end of this video, you will really learn how Platinum Coin scammed everybody and most of the people do still believe in Platinum Coin. However, I realized that this was a scam, I think, around 2019. Yes, it's 2019 that I started to realize that I had actually invested in a scam. Well, my name is Daniel Emmanuel and welcome back on my YouTube channel. If you're a new person on this YouTube channel, please do subscribe. I'm going to share with you Platinum Coin scam episodes and let you know how I invested in Platinum Coin so that you can learn and actually educate your friends about this similar scam. Maybe a friend of yours might be um, trapped into it. But if you watch these episodes, definitely you will know how Platinum Coin and Alex Reynard scammed everyone. Um, I knew about Platinum Coin in 2017. That's when I had invested in one coin in 2016. In 2016, I was uh, in my senior sex vacation. Okay. So in 2017, my friend called Anthony from Western Uganda, that is in Kasese district, right? If you check with your Google, you will find Kasese district in the Western part of Uganda and uh, at around the borders of Rwanda and Uganda. Okay. Now I'm taking you through the geograph of Africa. Kasese district is in the Western part of Uganda in um the borders of between Uganda and Rwanda. So my friend Anthony told me about Platinum Coin in 2017 around April because back then he'd never believed in one coin and I had invested in one coin. So he was like, Daniel, I've got for you a new cryptocurrency. Trust me, within a few years from now, a few months from now, you will realize that one coin is a scam. I tell you, Daniel, please. Get to understand how Platinum Coin works. Trust me, you will know the difference between decentralized cryptocurrencies and centralized cryptocurrencies. Back then in 2016 17, I didn't know the difference between decentralized cryptocurrencies and centralized cryptocurrencies. So, Anthony told me that Daniel, I know that you invested in one coin. And one coin is a scam. So in order for you not to lose your money, I request you to invest in Platinum Coin so that you understand how really a decentralized crypto project works like. I was like, Anthony, I don't have the money to invest. I've really invested a lot in one coin, but he insisted. Anthony was more advanced in crypto than I. Okay, back then in 2017, Anthony understood more about cryptocurrencies than me because he had joined them faster than I. I think Anthony might have joined cryptocurrencies in about 2014. So I was really an amateur because for my joined them in 2016 and my first cryptocurrency was one coin. And then remember. When you join in one coin, do you understand nothing about cryptocurrencies? You understand nothing about blockchain. You understanding nothing about opening wallets and transacting and you know analyzing crypto projects. So Anthony really had more crypto knowledge than I did. Um, he told me he trusted Platinum Coin because he had friends in Platinum Coin who were his top leaders in Swiss Coin. You know Swiss coin? Swiss coin existed before Platinum coin. So Anthony told me that he knew a guy called Dick Fico. <laughs> Mr. Dick. I call him Mr. Dick. Not Dick. D-I-C-K. Dick a pens. No. I mean Dick a name. It is D-I-R-K. Okay, Mr. Dick. It's this one you're seeing right now on your screens. Mr. Dick. So Mr. Dick is a top leader of platinum coin in Germany. 
Okay, he is also a German just like the CEO is. So he told me that Mr. Dick was his friend in Swisscoin and he really trusted him. He also showed me this guy, Heiko Barike. This one on your screen is called Heiko Barike, this one without hair. So he told me that these two gentlemen were his friends in Swisscoin and they've told him that actually their friend Alex Reinhardt, who was a top investor in Swisscoin, was creating his own cryptocurrency, of which he said that it was more advanced than Swisscoin and it was to solve more problems than Swisscoin was. Okay, so it's like they said that Alex Reynard has invade, had invented a new technology that would solve more problems than Swiss coin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are we together? So, Anthony told me that these guys were to make a new cryptocurrency, a new decentralized cryptocurrency that would be like Bitcoin in a few times. So, we joined Platinum Coin without a website. By then, in April 2017, Platinum Coin did not have a website. They didn't have a website. So, a few months, a few weeks after that introduction, um, Heiko, Heiko Barike, this one without hair, he introduced a landing page format way of registration. Platinum Coin had not yet released a website, but then we started registering under Heiko Barike, preparing for the official launch. So Heiko Barike introduced a landing um, website. I think it was Coins News. Yes, I think he had his own, like a team coin called Coins News. Yes. I remember it was Coins News. So we started registering under Heiko Barike under a landing page. A landing page is a simple website where we use to register. Like you put your email, then the system creates for you a simple dashboard where you can um, get your referral link and start inviting people who are actually in, interested to join Platinum coin. So we started registering in people using a landing page from Heiko Barike. Um, by then we started uh, sharing our coins news links on Facebook and everywhere. <laughs> because I was young, I was small, I was looking awkward, I had failed to make a one coin team in Uganda, you know. I was like about 19 years in 2017, okay? So, I was really, I couldn't really convince anyone to join one coin and invest, you know? I'm simply a kid from high school, you know? The only thing I had was a smartphone, you know? So, I couldn't actually make somebody believe and invest in one coin. So, we had a program, me and Anthony, to develop an international team that would register under us and then would be very, very rich with MLM commissions. But then, I had to create a fake Facebook account of a big man, you know, a brown big man in expensive suits, you know putting on expensive suits, you know, the cover photo was an expensive car, you know, I used to post photos when the face is not clear, but then the body is like as if it's that one on the, on the profile picture. So it was really, 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 really amazing. And uh, I really joined a lot of people under me in a Platinum Coin. When you check my Platinum Coin account, I have over 2,500 members under me, who registered under me. However, they did not invest. I don't know if I'm just unlucky. I don't know if I'm not blessed in MLM, but I was not made for MLM. Over 2,500 people registered under me, but I think just like four people invested. I don't know why. 
I don't know why I really did not get luck in ML in MLM. So we started sharing all over Facebook. We created a big Facebook group which got over 3000 people. 3000 people and over 5 and over 2500 people joined under me. Okay? They joined under me. They were a lot and we did it in a very very short period of time because I had two Facebook accounts and the other one really did me a great job because I looked like a top leader in a fake profile and everybody was joining knowing that they are joining somebody rich, big, influential, you know? You know what MLM does? <laughs> it's faking everything, faking life, faking lies, faking everything. So we started joining in people in, in our teams and we created so many Facebook pages of Platinum Coin, you know, Platinum Coin Africa, Platinum Coin Millionaires, Platinum Coin International, so that people can join under us. And by the time um, um, Platinum Coin introduced its own website, we had grown into a very, 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 very big team. So me and Anthony actually contributed a lot, a lot on the growth of Platinum Coin in 2017. I really don't get it when I talk about Platinum Coin and some people are like, ah, what are you talking about? My dear, I joined Platinum Coin without a website. I joined Platinum Coin when nobody knew about it. I joined Platinum Coin when their CEOs didn't know that it would actually explode to 2,000, 200,000, you know, 200,000 people, 30,000, 300,000 people, they didn't know that it would explode to that number. But I was there when Platinum Coin had 50 members. I was there when Platinum Coin had 200 members. I was there when Platinum Coin was nothing. So I know what I'm talking about. I was there from zero, from zero, from zero. Most of the people came when we are in 2000, 10,000. I was there before. So I was there looking at it growing. I was there looking at its marketing and I was there looking at it. By that time, we used post that Platinum Coin is 10 times faster than the blockchain of Bitcoin. You know, the blockchain of Platinum Coin was to be 10 times faster than that one of bitcoin you know we used to say that platinum coin is backed up by gold i don't know how it's backed up by gold we used to say that platinum coin will launch at an index of 0 0.1 euros you know and in a few months it would explode to over 10 euros you know so there was like automatic growth of the value. It, it was supposed to be a very, very stable cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin that goes up and down. You know, it had a lot of differences that their top leaders and the setup was saying. You know, we used to say that um, Platinum Coin is actually made of a hybrid blockchain. You know, <laughs> you guys, you guys, it was a lot of stuff. Now. Its official website was introduced in July, June, no, July, June, July, August, no, June, July, August, September. It was July. Its official website was introduced around July, August. And guess what happened? Guess where I got the money? <laughs> hey, watch out for episode two of Platinum Coin Scam. Please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> my name is Daniel Leonard and I thank my sponsors. That is Mr. Dave Smith, Mr. Jamie Ballet, Mr. Kikwood, and everybody that really supports my Facebook channel. Subscribe and be part of our community. If you don't subscribe, you may even fail to watch episode two. Daniel Emmanuel is my name and mwah.